गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन चैनल ऑफ माई ट्रिप टू साउथ एंड दिस इज ब्लॉक सेवन राइट नाउ आई एम हेल्प टूवर्ड्स इन मेर स्पीच I guess it's just 100 or 200 meters away from my hotel. Let's see there. So, guys, now I have reached the Mahabalipuram beach, and this is it. There are many people here in the morning. You can see lots of people, and right now the waves that are coming are so sandy that literally sand can be found everywhere in my clothes. Really, it is so difficult to walk here right now. I think I will be. Really able to make it to the hotel room. Well, what's it? I'll see you at at my hotel room, and most likely after this, I go swimming. Yeah, I love swimming by the way. And then today we will I'll be heading back to Chennai, and from there I'll go back to Delhi. My flight is at midnight. Like the one I had while coming here, so I'll do something about that. For now, I'll see you at the hotel. Guys, again I forgot to bring my speedos, and I wanted to collect seashells. So as a result, my boxes are all wet, and also they are filled with sand inside. <laughs> This boa is coming towards me. And by the way, the seashell collection is going amazing. And for now, I'm gonna go back to my hotel. It's gonna be very difficult, but somehow I'll manage. See you. So, guys, now after having my breakfast and getting ready, I'm he heading towards the seashore temple, and I've already entered its premises. And as you can see, there. This is a seashore temple, and legend says that there were seven temples built built in this seventeenth in the, in the seventh century. But then the water level rose, and now only one remains here. Six got immersed, and this is the last one. I'll see you there. So, guys, right now I am in front of the seashore temple, and this is the front of it. And as you can see, it is. Quite big, and I like its architecture. And it has this area around it, and it has so many nandis. For your knowledge, nandi is the sacred bull. Yeah, it is worshipped in India. So right now, I'll go ahead and see you there, guys. The front part of the temple was very small, and there was nothing much to see. There was just a statue of. Got it, and and the back part is right now closed for visiting. And this is the back part, as you can see, it is closed with bamboo, and then that is the inner part. But right now, I cannot go inside. So this is all for the seashore temple. And most probably now, I'll be heading towards. The Panchratha, that is the five rucks or five chariots. There are also temples, five a group of five temples. So I'll show you guys there. So guys, now I've reached the five rucks, and this is the entry temple, and this one of the five rucks or the chariots. And the reason these temples are named as rucks or chariots is because they are sh formed in the sh Shape of a chariot. As you can see, this is the top where the raja sits. This is the main body, and this is the driver's area. And these represent the wheels. So they are in the form of a chariot. So that is why they are they are named as ruts or chariots. So this is the first one. I'll go inside and see there. In on my way to the lighthouse, I found this one more temple, and I don't know if it's a temple or something, but it looks like a cave, and it has inscriptions like those of a temple. So no, it is just a rock cut. 
and I'll just go inside and check it out. Okay, there is no, doesn't have much content in here. And so this is it. This is the cake. Some cuts here. A few cuts here also, like this. The inscriptions of gods, goddesses, and here also. Yes. So I hope that this time I go to the lighthouse only, and I don't find anything in between. Yeah. So let's see. I'll see you there or anywhere. Now, guys, I'm finally at the lighthouse. This is it. No. This is it. Yeah. I'm like to go on the top, and I'll see if I'm able to go there because I have. I will have to many stairs. So let's see. Let's see that. Guys, now I reach to the, I guess, the floor less than the top of the lighthouse, and this is the view of the stairs. And well, they go like round and round like three or four times. <laughs> now I will go to the top. I'll see you guys there. So now, guys. Reach the top, and I'm in the balcony of the room of the lighthouse. And this is the view. Yeah. These are the backwaters again. And then this is the beach. And I am at this much height. And I'm scared. And right now, the space is very less. I'm inside the lighthouse and this is the bulb of the lighthouse and right now the glass is covered with a cloth or a curtain and here is the man. Hello. Yeah. So when you are the one who are in this lighthouse, when do you turn on this light? Evening 6 o'clock. Evening 6 o'clock. So he stays here. Morning 6 o'clock. He turns it on in the evening at 6 o'clock. And then it stays on till the mo morning at 6 o'clock and then yeah. Oh, so that is the chart of the timings and he's the man, he stays here all day, all night yeah. and he's the one who operates this lighthouse and see down there. So guys I'm finally at the bottom and right now. I'm barely able to walk and my feet are shivering like the end of the bottom yeah. and because I was so scared I could stop and while I was coming down because the stairs are very slim and couldn't get down it was very difficult to get down it took me five minutes yeah so now let's see what I'll do and I'll see you guys there so now guys, I'm here at the crocodile pan. We were on our way to the Chennai open, but we decided to stop here. Now we will be looking around here and see what all it has to offer. So guys, right now my primary camera has ran out of battery. So now I'm switching to my secondary camera. That is a Digicam. And right now, here, uh, as you can see, there are two crocodiles hunting a bird. Well, I think they are not actually hunting for the moment. But I think that bird will get killed today. So, I'll see you. So now guys, right now you are looking at an alligator. And it is a very big alligator. There are two actually, that one and one here. Yeah, they both are sleeping. And that's a good sign. I see at the next reptile. So guys, now this is a mother or a Kerala crocodile. And right now it is sleeping. And it is right in front of me. As you can see, this is the fence where I am standing. And 
not much away from me it's sleeping but it can have it can give me the element of surprise now now guys i'm here at the nile crocodile and they're sleeping with their mouth open and they are a little small but they can turn out to be very deadly now guys i'm here and this crocodile right here is known as tommy stoma yeah that is its real name and it is a big one and right now it is sleeping so one thing i found here is that there are a few lizards in this cage with this crocodile and it is right there on the tree i'm not able to find it right now but these crocodiles are humongous guys i've got this another tommy stoma here and this one has lost its tail and right now it is sleeping with its mouth open as you can see there its mouth is open like those nile crocodiles so now guys so now guys this is a salt water crocodile here and i've seen something in crocodiles they like to sleep with the mouth open so that they can catch their prey anytime now guys i've caught a few more mugger or marsh crocodiles here and they're sleeping not that one that one is swimming right now but there are many in this cage so now guys this is a green iguana lizard and it is so big that one is sleeping on the log and the other one is there they are some flashed i was barely able to see the one on the log and most probably there are a few more hiding in the bushes and guys i'm not able to believe my eyes right now in front of me i have the asian water monitor lizard and as you can see there they are and they are they are very big there are two of them in front of me and the camouflage as you can see this is it oh shit and it is very big and they are known for their dangerous attack as you can see this one is coming out and oh it's very long moving slowly looking for it okay. so now guys right now we are looking at a dwarf caiman it is in an aquarium right now and yeah it is so dwarf that you can keep it in an aquarium now guys now guys i'm looking at the red eared slider these are small turtles or tortoises with red ears and to the side are the eggs of different crocodiles as you can see the size vary from different species now guys here i have the skulls of different crocodiles and this one is the skull of a gharial that is a rare indian crocodile and then this big skull is that of a saltwater crocodile and then these are different skulls of different crocodiles and this one is very small maybe of a dwarf caiman but not then this skull is too big for a dwarf caiman but i don't know the name is not given there also uh in front of another crocodile So now guys I am in front of this very big crocodile and it the name of this crocodile is Jaws and it sends chills down my spine and well, it is so big it is sleeping right now and it has so many scales on its body So guys now in front of me I have the black caiman and there is only one in this cage and it is sleeping right now in front of me it is so beautiful so now guys in front of me are this al tabra giant tortoise 
and as you can see they are really big and giant and to the side we have the star tortoise the, it is very small very small tortoise so now guys in front of me are so many crocodiles they are all sleeping but this one is opening its mouth to yawn yeah and closed it and they all are sleeping right now and that one has its mouth mouth open and oh there are many big ones also like that and there are so many of them so guys now in front of me there is an underwater gharial as you can see a few turtles or tortoises are swimming with it and it is so big and mean it looks so mean and, whoa. it has gone up to get some air and this is it so guys now i have reached the madras airport and i have charged my primary camera also i i reached here i headed towards the beach on my way and right now i'll be going inside in 15 minutes and then I'll make a video of inside of the airport also and of the takeoff and landing and then after that I will see you in Delhi. So now guys I'm sitting near my gate and the boarding will start at 11.20 and right now it's 11 so 20 minutes I'll be sitting here and then I'll be on my way to Delhi. So now guys Finally the boarding has begun and right now I'm going towards my plane. I don't know. They are taking us down so what's the plan but maybe I'll have to go into a bus and then go somewhere. Uh, I'll just see what happens. I've already changed into my night suit and this was all for my trip to South Vlogs and now I'll see you guys in another video if you haven't checked out my previous video make sure to go check it out I'll leave a link in the description down below and if you haven't checked out my playlists I'll leave links of that also please make sure to go check them out and don't forget to like share and subscribe I'll see you guys goodbye signing off for now.